Reserve the temple ordinances for your ancestors. Um, so when we're here in the landscape view, you can take a look and see that there are these little temple icons. And the different colors mean different things. Green means that the person's ordinances are ready to reserve. Blue means that they have already been reserved by someone else and they're in progress. Yellow means that they're not ready to be reserved yet because the person needs more information entered in first. And gray or sometimes white or no icon at all um, means that the ordinance has already been completed. Um, we're going to go over here and switch to the fan chart view. And to look for temple ordinances that need to be done, you're going to want to make a few changes first. Um, first of all, switch to seven generations. And then click here on ordinances. And these have the same color coding as the other chart. If you don't see any names that are green on your seven generation chart, um, meaning they need their temple work done, you'll want to look out at further generations. On each of the people on the chart, if you hover your mouse over, you can see this little gray icon at the base of their name. Um, and that means that you can, if you click on that, you can put this person in this main position on the chart and it'll show their seven generations of ancestors. And so you want to go through and take a look and see what you find. We'll start here with William Vincent. So we took William Vincent and we moved him here and now it's showing all of the seven generations of ancestors that we have listed for him on the um, family tree. You see here that there are several that are green, so that looks promising. Um, we'll take a look here. And when you click on it, it shows this little box with a summary and here it gives you a list of the temple ordinances. Remember, gray means that those have been completed, and if you can't remember, um, if you hold your mouse over them and then pause for a second, it will pop up and tell you what the color coding means. So this person is ready to have her ceiling to her spouse done, but um, if you're um, getting ready to go to the temple um, for the first time or you've only been going for a little while because you're 11 or 12 or 13 or around that age, um, what you can do when you go to the temple is the first two boxes on the left. B is for baptism, baptisms for the dead in the temple, and C is for confirmation. And for now, while you're that age, um, the rest of these ordinances on the list, uh, they won't really apply to you. You could reserve them and let your parents or your other relatives do them, but right now the ones that you're able to do and participate in when you go to the temple are just the first two, the baptism and confirmation. So let's take a look and see if we can find one that needs baptism. We'll take a look at John Vincent. Here we find that he does need baptism confirmation. So what we want to do is click on his name and you can see that this is the person page that we've looked at before that gives information about the person and about their family members. And about each person, there's this list up at the top, and one of them says ordinances. And if you go there, it shows you that these ordinances are ready to reserve.